That is absolutely incredible. Yeah, some of these big game shows we see on YouTube and people love it. And um, I never thought too much about it when I was a kid. But now being older, you realize those grizzlies, man, you know, you can't outrun them, you can't outswim them, and you can't outclimb them. I can't imagine the horror trying to find a grizzly if you out of ammo, out of ammo, or don't have a gun on your gun jam. Man, that's got to be scary. Yeah, it's got to be absolutely incredible. I know the black bears up here have done damage to people a few times and broken the cars. Um, but the big thing around here is a big moose. They'll stop you quick. Those things, man, I tell you. But, uh, yeah, I can't imagine going face-to-face -face with a grizzly, even Alaska, you know? Man, that's got to be scary. You, you don't want to run by one of those guys. You know, you got to remember that a grizzly bear is way bigger than a black bear. And, oh, my God, it's so much more aggressive than a black bear. So, and the bullet, the size of the bullet, you need to kill a black bear. I mean, not a black bear, a grizzly bear. My God, you better be a good shot, too. Yeah, a friend of mine, that happened to him uh, about 12 years ago. He was a black bear on his porch, and he couldn't get rid of it. I forget what kind of a gun he had, and he had to shoot it three times. He said, well, that was a black bear. I can imagine trying to kill a grizzly. Yeah, if you shoot a black bear around here, you know, even, even the, uh, the, the sheriff's office, the local police, and the, the uh, conservation people, the game wardens, they tell you to use a 12 gauge shotgun with slugs. And uh, if you have to shoot a black bear for, you know, because of it being too aggressive. But uh, last winter, last fall, this lady come home from work one night and she notices this something under her deck and uh, it was a black bear making a dent for the winter. So she called the, um, the game wardens. They came in, they trapped the bear and they brought it up to northern New Hampshire let him loose. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah, the guy that had that issue with the bear, his, his, his name was Blake. And he's the head mechanic for VL Camels. He's a big oil company up here. And uh, he's the head mechanic there. He was coming at about 12 years ago. I'm like, damn, like, yeah, I don't care what color, caliber he, he used. And he said he shot a point blank. And um, he said, I think he said, he went and got a bigger gun after shooting it twice. And the third, the, 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 that gun got him. Oh my God, damn, Blake. He said, well, that was really incredible. He said, I was really fast. But, um, and you never know. So I can imagine going against a grizzly. Oh, God, yeah. God, yeah. Well, you know, um, it's funny because um, these, these black bears around here, we see them all the time. They, they have no problem crossing the roads, you know, walking down the street, you know. I mean, we, we, we've seen them a couple times walking down our road. And, uh, hey, it's just part of life here. You know, you just give them a wide berth. You leave them alone, they'll leave you alone. But if you have to, protect yourself because accidentally get in a position where you got to do something, so you got to do it. But you know what's kind of funny? Um, my wife and I was watching another show, and we met some people from Alaska, and they said those bears are even bigger than the grizzlies. And we was watching one show where some of the grizzlies, are, are males, are so huge, the tip of their nose can barely get to the second floor window of a ledge of a house. I can't imagine that. That is crazy. And then um, they show one one uh, group of people, um, conservationists, they triggerized one to tag them. And they had this big bear just, just 
spread out, and I couldn't believe the size of those men. When you see them up against a grown man, a bunch of men handling them, you know, they had to be as out cold, and they got a couple of minutes of work to get a um, test on them, draw some blood and all that, and they're showing the paws on this thing. I mean, man, from his shoulder to my shoulder is one paw. <laughs> and that's amazing. That's scary big. I think there's a station out here. Go ahead, station. You know, um, I think the only bear bigger than a grizzly bear, if I'm correct, is a polar bear. That's what I'm talking about, polar bear. Yeah. 